Match of the season, 1984-85. Halifax Town 4, Bury 1. 12th of January, 1985. In another season of disappointments, Halifax Town still found it within themselves to pull off one of the shocks of the season. For whichever way it was looked at, this hammering of Bury was a shock, with the sheer men proving that they did, when they put their minds to it, they could match anyone in the division. Not that Bury were just anyone. Under player manager Martin Dobson, he had taken over from Jim Milley, previous March, Berry had finished moderate 15th in 1984, but now having recruited a couple of old heads, they were setting the pace. Like Dobson, Leighton James, ex-Burnley, Derby and Wales, and Trevor Ross, Arsenal and Everton, may have been past their best, but they could still play a bit, and together with the prolific goal-scoring talents of Craig Madden, it was not hard to see why Berry arrived at the Shea two points clear at the top of the table. The Shakers had won their previous four matches, whilst Town had lost four of their last five including a 3-0 home defeat by Hartlepool. So when Madden slid in to score his 15th goal of the season after 23 minutes, the results looked a formality, especially as Berry had dominated the game up to that point. But in tricky conditions, a blanket of snow covered the pitch, Town drew level in the 39th minute after taking the lead early in the second half and they grew in confidence. Hero for the Shearmen was Simon Lowe. He only had three league goals to his name so far this season, but he was about to double his tally in this game. He nipped in at the near post to turn in Barry Gallagher's cross for the equaliser, then in the 52nd minute headed into an empty net after Gary Watson had kept his cool and centred perfectly when Berry keeper David Brown had fumbled the ball. Visitors, as one might expect, came back strongly and Roach had to make magnificent saves off two end whistle headers, but town were not finished. Badly in need of points to escape the re-election clutches, they went 3-1 up in the 84th minute when Gallagher rose above Brown. John Bramhall and Andy Hall to head home. Then finished the job off in injury time. Gallagher created the last goal himself and might have scored after rounding Brown, but instead unselfishly set up Lowe, who duly scored one of the easiest goals of his career to complete his hat-trick. Martin Dobson's side would struggle to cope with the shock of this defeat. They succumbed at Chesterfield the following week and eventually lost their grip on the leadership. At the season's close, however, they would gain promotion by finishing fourth. 